Hi, welcome to the presentation of the map generator. This application is coded in XNA, but anybody can use it and save their own maps as text files and then import them into other programs. The way the map generator works is that you have a double array here of values. Most of the tiles start out having a value of zero, which means that they are zero meters or yards or whatever. They're zero tall. And then some of them, about one-fifth, have a random value between zero and 255. And you can see they're colored lighter the taller they are. Now what happens is that whenever I click the right mouse button or press space, these tall mountains, as we can call them, are um, averaged out. So, for example, this 28 will spill some of its matter onto the neighboring tiles. So will the 139. So I'll right-click here, and you can see that some of the matter spills on to the neighbor neighboring tiles. Now this one is down to 125. I'll right-click again. Now it's down to 89, and as I click more and more times, the map is smoothed more and more, which means that it'll be a bit like the millions of years that pass on Earth, where mountains are slowly worn down into hills and dunes and eventually just grass plains. Now a uh, practical thing about this is that if I want large areas of land just dotted with lakes. I can just lower the water level here, as you can see down here. Now the ocean height is 8. I will scroll backwards on my mouse scroll button here. And now our ocean is down to 2, now it's down to 1, and now we have just a few small lakes dotting our country. What I can also do is I can call in Armageddon and I can raise the water level. So it rained and rained for 40 days and 40 nights. And eventually, I will have a large sea just dotted with a few islands. And if it doesn't feel right, I can just smooth it a bit more. Eventually, some of these areas will go under the water surface. That's pretty much it. I can hit Control S to save the map. And this will give me a text file. And um, from there on, you can work with that. It has the width and the height, and it stores all of the different coordinates, uh, all the different tiles, I mean. As you can see here, it has width and height, and then all of the little dots. And oh, here you can see this is an ocean. Water is the spaces, and land is the x's. I'll close this again, and I can try to lower the sea level so we get just a few lakes here and there. I'll save again, and you can see it creates a new map for me. It'll auto number the maps, so this one is called map 50 by 50, map number 10. I'll change it a bit, smooth it a bit. Actually, I think I'll start over. Enter for a new map, totally new map, smooth it out a bit, raise the water level, and save. And you can see now we have map number 11. Well, it was fun making. I hope it was fun watching. And uh, go out there, code some games.